Yeah, I think when you talk about, um, you know, first the news of, of the Kimbe passing is sad and our prayers and thoughts go out to his family. Um, but when you talk about a great human being um, on and off the floor, uh, the things that he did in, um, for his country, um, the hospital, um, you know, he's going to be dearly missed uh, when you talk about an angel. Um, you know, unfortunately, he was taken a little bit too soon, you know, from us. But uh, what he was on the court, um, when you talk about uh, defensive player of the year, uh, that, you know, protecting the rim, playing the game the right way, um, you know, that was the Kimbe. And uh, I got to play with him uh, in Jersey. Uh, and it was, it, he's an incredible teammate, one of the best teammates I've had. And so uh, he'll be dearly missed. If you have a question, raise your hand, we'll bring the mic. Hi, Jason. Um, you've been through the experience as a player going to the finals and obviously winning it, but also going to the finals and coming up short. I wonder how you can maybe use that experience to help your players navigate the, the follow-up to the kind of season they had last year. Yeah, <clears throat> I think when you talk about, you know, last season, it was last season. This is a different team. Um, understanding that we, we have to be hungry. We haven't done anything. Uh, we came in second, um, but we did do a lot of positive things. So um, to, to learn from. And if we are uh, lucky enough to be in that same situation, we can use that experience uh, to, to, to win a championship. Um, the expectations are extremely high, um, and I think everyone's comfortable with that. Um, we're, we're not going to run from the expectations. Uh, we're going to work um, in, in, the, in that locker room. Uh, the expectation is to win a championship. And uh, hopefully we're, we're lucky enough to, to be put in that situation. The league is as good as it's ever been. Um, when you talk about the Western Conference, it's depth. Uh, the Eastern Conference, there's no nights off. And so, uh, you know, each game is going to mean something. Um, you look at the start of the season, you look at the end season tournament. Um, there's a lot to be played for early on. And so um, with what Nico and Patrick have done, uh, with the depth of our team to be able to go out and get the pieces, um, young and older, um, uh, it hopefully puts us in a position to be one of the teams that can come out of the West. On paper, it appears that you have three starting guards. I was wondering if you could explain, you know, how it's going to work, X and O wise. Yeah, on paper we got a lot of starting uh, guards, starting centers. Um, we got a lot of starters, um, and so um, I think uh, when you look at um, training camp and you just talking to the guys before I came out, uh, you know we're gonna instigate competition in training camp. We're gonna instigate uh, competition in practice um, to make each other better. Uh, to make the game easier. And so um, we'll see uh, how that pans out, uh, who starts. Um, we, we know that we can go out on a limb and say there's two guys or three guys that are going to start. But I think um, when you talk about the season, um, as I just talked with the guys too about, um, you know, injuries, uh, you know, being able to be ready um, to start or to, you know, if you're, you feel like you're on the third team, um, there could be an injury. Now you're going to be a backup, and the backup becomes a starter. Um, but we're not afraid to start the third string either. Uh, and so um, just being prepared, and those guys understand that. They've worked extremely hard this summer, and we do have a lot of guys who want to play. And uh, we're going to try to figure out um, on this journey uh, to get everybody the proper minutes um, but everything we're doing is to, to win a championship, and so we all have to sacrifice. Um, we're gonna sometimes, you know, put our individual goals to 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 look at the team goal first, and if we can do that, um, that puts us in a good seat. 
Hey, Jason, uh, a couple questions for you. One, in terms of uh, the, the center spot, your thoughts on you know, Gafford, Elijah, is, is that a competition as you go into camp in, in terms of that starting job? And then uh, also on, on Clay, obviously this is one of the all-time great shooters. Easy to see what he can do for you guys there. What can you guys do for him to make the adjustment, the transition uh, easier on him? Yeah, great questions, Tim. Um, if I forget one, you, you got to remind me because thank you. Um, the first one is there's, uh, as I talked about competition, um, David talked about uh, the guard situation, the center it's competition. Um, when you talk about Gaff and, and D Live, uh, 48 minutes of uh, rim protection, um, both uh, offensively uh, can catch the lob. If you ask Gaff and D-Live, they both can shoot threes. <laughs> um, and so uh, you, you look at the um, the talent. Um, now you also have uh, DP at center and then also Maxi. And so there's a lot of uh, ways we can go with the center position. But I think with the competition at center is great. And it's a healthy competition um, because they both support each other. Um, it's you know kind of like the relay race, the baton. Um, one's on the floor, the other one's cheering, and then when that when D Live comes out, he gives the baton to Gaff, and he uh, he takes it from there, and they just flip flop. And so they that worked well for us last year. And uh, there was a point where we uh, started Gaff, and things went well. And then there's a point in the season where we uh, started D Live. So I think we can look at both of them. We're going to have the opportunity to start. And uh, at some point in this season, not just because of injury, but we'll see how, um, you know, one is playing and, and if we can help the other. So um, so to answer your question, it's open. Um, but also, you know, we're going to probably start D live with the first group and uh, see how that goes. Yeah, I think we're going to go back and look at what we deal with uh, with some of the guys that we've had in the past to try to get their feet on the ground. Is the sooner the better. Um, with when you talk about um, Kai and different guys that we've had uh, in a trade, um, we can look at PJ and Gaff. How do we help them get their feet on the ground on the run? And so, um, from past experiences, being with the team for a long time, it takes a little time um, because. There are different names, different um, people, but what Clay here, uh, just watching him of late, he's ready to go. And uh, we're very lucky to have him on our side. And so, um, but I think uh, he can answer that question. I think he, he feels at home um, and he's excited about this uh, new chapter in his, in his career. Hey Jason, uh, I'm curious when uh, after the finals, when it was that you took a look at what happened to do a deeper dive, sort of dissect the series, what you found, like how close you you feel you actually were beyond the how the series played out, and then how much closer does Clay Thompson get you to where you want to be? Yeah, I think the deep dive, um, just understanding Boston's a good team. You know, they're the champ. Uh, they beat us in that series. Uh, they were the better team in that series. Um, and so, but when you look at, um, you know, the things that we could have done differently, um, our offense, you know, if we could have shot in the ball better, um, maybe that gives us a better chance. If we could have bottled up game four and, and made that game three, and it goes back to two, back to Boston, um, is it a different series? So the, the what ifs, yes, um, you look at, um, but also, um, you got to push forward because you can always second guess yourself, um, but you can learn from that situation as players and coaches. And we all did. Um, and so that to have clay, clay can shoot the ball, you know, every time he lets it go, it looks like it's going in. Um, and if he does miss one, it, you know, it, it just adds to the percentage of, will he make the next one? And I, and I think. We haven't had that um, here for a while. Um, we've had shooters, 
Um, but we haven't had a Jason Terry or or Clay Thompson. You know, this is this this is rare air when you talk about Clay. Um, he's going to go down as one of the best shooters of all time, and so to have him on our side, it it just makes the game offensively um, easier. Um, spacing is a big thing in this league, and he creates that um, gravity. Um, Gaff and D Live and the guys setting screens for him will definitely get him a Christmas gift. Um, hopefully, um, because they'll get the game will become easier for them. And so, when you look at teams that can make the game easy, Boston, um, ourselves, um, those are the ones that can win championships. Jason, you've made two deep playoff runs with a couple of pretty dramatically different teams since you've been here, and you. And the talent acquisition points along the way, you've always said, you know, you got to accumulate talent and the team's always going to be different. So here you are again, getting ready with another major change. And, and how does that mentality help you and just sort of understanding that the team's going to be different, pretty kind of a constant churn sort of thing? Yeah, it, it, I think um, it is different, um, but the core has kind of been together here for a little bit. And so um, being consistent in that area, um, but it's exciting. Um, this is probably one of the, you know, most exciting uh, training camps that I've been a part of, um, except probably in Brooklyn. Um, when you had the Hall of Famers that I had the opportunity to coach, um, I'm pr pretty much back in that same seat. Um, when you talk about future Hall of Famers with Kai, Clay, and uh, Luca, and so uh, to to be able to have this opportunity offensively, um, our goals should be high. Um, now, there's going to be nights where we, we can't throw it in the ocean, but can we play defense that night? And uh, and that's going to be the challenge for this group. Um, as we saw last year, we struggled at the beginning with defense, and then we kind of figured it out after all-star break, and we started to play it at a high high level and understood that defense is what wins wins games. And, and so hopefully we can find that in Vegas, um, our defense early. And uh, and be able to you know build from there, but this is a different group, and so it's going to take time for chemistry. It's it's going to take a little time um, to understand what we can truly do. So hopefully we're we're patient publicly, uh, but we're excited. Um, we're healthy and we're excited about camp. Um, kind of looking at camp last year in Abu Dhabi and Madrid was a great time for for the group to to start that chemistry and, and understand each other. And you saw that when we came back, um, no one asked about Kai and Luca. Um, now it'll just be about Clay. And so that's kind of cool that it's just about one person. So, uh, but we do have some other guys that I think are gonna have a major impact on this group when you talk about Najee and, um, and Grimes. And so um, those are the two newcomers, but there's a, a gentleman that's been here for a little bit and uh, Hardy, he's been patiently waiting, and so he's going to get his opportunity too. So it is different. It's it. This is different than last year, and uh, but it should be fun, and it will be fun. Jason, Jason, uh, last season Derek Jones served a role for you guys, where he would uh, he would guard down, he would take point guards and, and quicker guards. Uh, who who on this roster do you see being able to pick up? You know that defensive responsibility, and if the starting lineup ends up being Luca, Kyrie, Clay, and PJ, uh, how do you, uh, you know, who are you looking to to fill that position and, and to be able to guard players like that when when you uh, come across them? Luca, why not? Um, <laughs> well, that's a good start. Uh, um, it's going to be a committee. You know, I think this league is about matchups um, and, and being able to um, get the matchups right. Um, there's going to be times where Luke is going to have to guard someone, you know, and, and that's just part of uh, being the best in the world. Um, and I don't think he's going to run from that. Um, and so, uh, but Kai and, and Clay, there's going to be a committee of, of guys that are going to have, we're going to have to guard. Um, but the, the beauty about our defense is that we're here to help each other. Um, and you've seen that here uh, over the last couple of years. As, as much as we we talk about the individual, um, we're, we're built on team defense. And so uh, 
there's going to be nights where Luca's going to have to guard maybe someone a little bit quicker. Um, there's not, and he'll tell you there's not too many guys that are as fast as him. So, um, but it's uh, it'll be a great challenge for our group, and uh, we look forward to that. But I, I know everybody thinks I was joking, but there is some seriousness that Luca's going to have to guard somebody.